I was so inspired and always have been by Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette. That movie is just so sumptuous and the textures and colors and just the vibe of it is very fun and lighthearted. So I wanted to do a collection that referenced that but also felt very new. So the neon refers to new and the Baroque is the old, which is of course what I love to do, mix old and new. The entire collection is inspired by vintage pieces. Even if it's something we're creating new, there's some element that I pulled from my vintage archive. But we also spruced up the whole look with a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces. So you'll find throughout the girls' looks and on the wall here behind me lots of pieces that actually incorporate one-of-a-kind vintage elements. There's a lot of that over-the-top sumptuousness that I associate with Baroque. So there's tons of crystal and pearls and painted neon bits and wings and just a lot of scrolling. So you kind of have these Rococo Baroque elements in the structure of the jewelry. And then lots and lots of layered elements, glass, paint, pearl, chain, all coming together to create an over-the-top feeling. I just made this a couple days ago. It's one of our 100 year necklaces and it has elements ranging from 1860 to 1960. So on one necklace you have a century of costume jewelry history. Jessica has on a double horseshoe necklace which is kind of interlocking and all made with crystals and brass. And this necklace it's all freshwater pearls that we're hand wiring together to make a chain. And then she has on this great like multi-wing necklace. So that's just the neck. <laughs> And then the wrist, 1860s cut steel buckle that we fashion into a bracelet. And then on her other hand, she has another horseshoe and horseshoe rings. And one of my favorite things is a Czechoslovakian vintage piece from about 1890. I always want there to be some kind of toughness as well. So there's a little bit of a punk twist to some of the jewelry. Like you can see she has on this spiky necklace here. And that adds a little bit of, you know, roughness and a little rough and tumble to the very sweet Marie Antoinette kind of a look. So she also has a 100-year necklace right here. And this one I love. It's mixed also Czechoslovakian glass. That's the red there. And Bakelite, which is one of my favorite materials. I feel like it, it's in my lineage. My grandmother, Elizabeth Frost, was in the antique jewelry business. My mom buys for us. Some of my best friends work with me. So it's very much about telling a story. And you know, we did these plaza numbers and now we have them in fine jewelry. And these tell stories as well. You know, people really find a personal meaning in number combinations. So I always want my jewelry to be more than just something pretty.